Good morning, good morning, BW, and happy Wednesday to you. Yes, I am coming to you this morning to bring you Better Woman Wednesday. And this morning, I want to share something quickly with you. We were in Huntsville, Alabama, and I had the blessing and the honor and the opportunity to hear Pastor Snell again with the sermon. And something he said I wanted to share with you ladies quickly for Better Woman Wednesday today. And of course, you know, I always have to feliciarize anything that I hear, uh, but he made such valid points when he told this short story, and I'm gonna share this short story with you ladies. And so he started off his, his sermon with a story about how every Thursday, if you were to come by his home, you would find him playing Uno with his three children. And he said in the story that he always know that he's gonna win not because he's the oldest, not because he's the wisest, because of how his children play the game of Uno, right? Man, he broke this down, it's so powerful. And I just feel like that I'm chopping it up and I'm gonna share it with you anyway. So he said, uh, so he talked about his youngest son. He said, I already know I'm gonna defeat him. He said, because even though he's given an awesome hand to play with, he can have all of the draw fours, but because he really don't understand the game, he really don't understand he has a good hand, he don't know how to play the hand that has been dealt to him. He said with his daughter, he already know that she's gonna be defeated because even though she may have a good hand, she never pays attention to what's in her hand because she's so busy trying to look to see what's in the other player's hand. And then he said for his next son, not the youngest boy, but the oldest boy, he said he already know that he's going to be defeated, but because he may not have a good hand, but no matter what type of hand he have, whether good or bad, he's always going to complain about his hand. Even if it's good, it's not good enough for his son. And so when he started off saying this story, of course, they're doing a marriage series down in Huntsville at Oakwood Church and so his was more tailored to marriage, but of course, you know, when I heard that, I was thinking about the better women and the better wives that's in this group. And I'm like, wow, this is so applicable to the better woman, better wife circle. Not everybody in the group, but over 50% of us, we operate the same way that his children do, do in the game of Uno. We operate like that in the game of life. You know, like just with his youngest son, even though he's been dealt a good hand, he doesn't know how to play it. And for some of us women, we have a good hand. We got good spouses, we got good bank accounts, we got good degrees. But even with all of that, we don't understand what we have. So we don't know how to play this game because we don't understand the beauty and the blessings that we have right at our fingertips. And then like with his daughter, he talked about she can't even play her hand because she's so busy looking at everybody else's hand. Don't we do that as women? We so busy looking at how they her look, what they got on, what kind of shoes they wear, what kind of car they drive, what's the square footage of their home. And we're so busy comparing our lives to those of our colleagues, our friends, our family, even Facebook people that we don't even know. We trying to compare what they have to what we have. But what we have to realize is whatever we have, that's what God has for us. Everything we have is what God has for us. And so when he talked about his son, the one who no matter what hand he get, he's complaining. <laughs> Whether good or bad, he's complaining. Don't we find ourselves the same way? No matter what's going on in our world, we always gonna find a reason to complain. We're always gonna find a reason not to be happy. Your husband can come in the house and he can do 15 things right, but that one thing he don't do right, we're gonna murmur and complain about it. We can go on a job that can be paying you good, good work environment. The one day that something go wrong, instead of us remembering all of the blessings, we wanna complain about our job when there are people still in 2022 in the United States in food lines, don't have food to eat, don't have a shelter over their head. Some people wish they had a spouse. Uh, some people wish they had children. There, there are women who can't even bear children, but yet we complain about the children that God gave us as gifts. You read the Bible, children are a gift from the Lord. 
And so, but we found ourselves complaining. We have a good hand, but still, even in the midst of the goodness, we still find a reason to mumble and complain. May God have mercy on us. And so as he told that story, I'm like, man, how it, that's the same way we operate in life. And so I just want to admonish you and I want to encourage you today. Play with the hand that has been dealt to you. Be thankful for everything that God has given you in life and stop worrying about what somebody else may have and just and just focus on what you have and what God is trying to do in your life. Because see, one thing about it, when you live it in purpose, when you're trying to live this kingdom life, you don't have time to focus on what somebody else is doing. You don't have time to mumble and complain. And you're going to understand the help, the hand that has been dealt to you. Anytime you don't understand the hand that has been dealt to you, it's because you don't understand your purpose in life. And so God say that you ask for wisdom. He give it. If you just ask him, ask him for that wisdom, ask him, God, what is my purpose for being here on earth? You know, uh, ask him to lead God and direct you. Ask him to give you a vision, you know, of what he would have for you. And so that story about the Uno cars just, you know, blew me away. Some stuff, you know, like I said, I Felicia Rice it because I had to tailor it to the better woman, better wife. But again, the message is so applicable to today and how we're moving and how we're shaking in life. You know, we, we got to get to the point, ladies, where it's all about kingdom and it's all about purpose. That's what I'm trying to get us to, to focus on, kingdom and purpose. Yeah, we're trying to better up, but the reason, the whole reason we're trying to better up is to live out our purpose and our calling in life. Because, <laughs> you know, when we operate, we want to operate in excellence is how we want to operate in life. We want to be the type of women that we so better up and we're so confident in who God has made us that we don't mind but butting, butting, buttoning up another woman's dress. I know I said that wrong. Buttoning up. If that's even a word, button up another woman's dress. My husband and I, we went out uh, to eat dinner on last night, just a late Valentine's dinner. We didn't make it on Valentine's Day. So we went out on yesterday. And the funny thing is, uh, I left the house and the back of my dress, I had on a red dress, of course, and I was trying to button up my dress and I couldn't. So I'm like, I'm gonna just finish getting ready, put my makeup on, comb my hair. And when I walk into the living room, I just let Jalen uh, button up my dress. So of course I forgot. And, you know, so I went on to the restaurant, the whole back of my dress open. I guess my husband didn't pay attention to it. My daughter didn't pay attention to it before I left the house. So I got to the restaurant. I sit in the chair trying to be cute. Y'all know how I do. Trying to be cute. Trying to be on fleek all, all the time. So I, I sit out with my little gold heels on here, my red and gold dress on. The back of it was open. So a lady walked past me. She sit behind me, her and her husband. Another lady came. They sit behind us to, the, to another table to our right. Then another lady came and sit directly behind me. I saw her get up from her chair and she came over to me and she whispered in my ear. She said, I'm just going to bend down and button up the back of your dress. The back of your dress is opening. I said, thank you, my sister. Now, she didn't have to do that. She could have let my dress stay open. She could have let me been exposed. But instead of let me be exposed, she decided to cover me. That's how we have to do in this better woman circle. We have to be the type of women, we don't mind covering another woman. We don't mind uh, buttoning up her dress. So many times as women, we trying to expose another woman, expose her weaknesses, expose her flaws, expose her weak spots. Instead of trying to cover her, instead of trying to pray for her, instead of trying to lift her and encourage her. And that's what the circle is all about uplifting each other encouraging each other sharpening each other you know buttoning it up each other dress so we won't be exposed why you want to expose another person flaws because usually when you find a woman to do that she got her own so she's trying to take the attention i wasn't really going on with her to put the attention on somebody else so let's button up somebody else's dress today let's play the hand that has been given to us and happy wednesday better up and be blessed